Hey there, welcome back. This is East Texas Live on KETK. We have Gail Helms back with Pets for People and a cute little three month old kitten. I know. This is Poppy. His name is Poppy and he's about three months old. He's almost a Russian blue with the color of his hair, mm -hmm. but he's got this little white nose and four little white paws and he is just a love. You could just, he's purring right now. He's a happy little boy. Um, he's, and what can you say about little kitties? They're so much fun. Yes. You know, they're great if you live in an apartment. I'm very much a cat person, so I'm glad that more cats are being brought into the mix here, Gail. Yeah. Well, why would somebody want to adopt a cat? Well, because if you live in a small place, and if you have a place that doesn't have a yard, or, you know, I look, if, if they're very low maintenance. So 20-something really James uh, fell in love with cats because I lived in apartments, and I didn't, I had worked two jobs, and I didn't have a whole lot of time to right. walk a dog or go pooper scoop the yard. Yes. Ke keeping up with the cat box was a little easier for me. Yes. But I also yes. like cats because you don't have to do this guessing game with the breed. You know, oh, a yeah. cat's basically a cat. They have different colors and some of them have spots or stripes, but you don't have to worry about one like biting your kid's face off That's or right. you don't have to worry about cat attacks or feral cats <laughs> running the street. Or, <laughs> yeah, so so cats are just, they seem more fun and they, they seem, really are. yeah, they, and yes. that's why I'm, nothing against <laughs> dogs, love dogs, but we're not here just to talk about Poppy. You guys no. have an event coming up and it, it sounds like it's forever away, October 7th, but that's just next weekend. I know it. It's our annual Pets in the Park, and it's going to be Saturday, October the 7th, from 10 until 3, and it's going to be a fun time. We're going to have weenie dog races. We're going to have a lure course. We're going to have contests like Most Beautiful and Pet Owner Lookalike. There's going to be lots of vendors. There's going to be food trucks. Tyler Obedience Training Club is going to be there. It's just going to be a fun time, and it's an opportunity for us to raise awareness about what we're doing but also hopefully to make a little money for us as well. All right, pardon my ignorance, but what's a lure course? It's almost like when um, the greyhounds chase around uh, the mechanical uh, the, rabbit. Yeah, that's exactly okay. what it is. And so it's those that need that have that need for speed. They can chase that little uh, plastic bag, and it's just going to be a whole lot of fun for the contest and everything else. We've got all kinds of trophies. It's just going to be a fun day. Bounce houses, face painting, microchipping. I mean, it's a fun, fun day. And Bergfield Park is beautiful this time of the year. Okay, so October seventh, Bergfield Park, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. If someone wants to adopt Poppy, does he have any siblings in case? there's a, a rush for more than he one? He does have one more sibling, okay. yes. So and Poppy or his sibling? Yes, and so I go to the pet, go to the website at petsforpeople.org, click on that adoption application, see if, we'll send it to us and see if we can um, make an appointment for you to come out and visit with Poppy. If you're not looking for a cat, we got lots and lots of dogs. All right, thank you very much, Gail. If you want Poppy or a dog or Poppy's sibling, petsforpeople.org.